Hi you guys, um, this video is just, just me being honest about what I'm going through. I don't know, um, I've been attacked by spirits now for about, um, two years, and I think it's two years, I don't know if it's a year or two years. But it's hell on earth. It's gotten a lot better. It used to be um, really powerful, strong attacks against my flesh. And then the demons get into my body. But p praise God, it's not as bad as it used to be. But um, they still attack me. And they get into my body. And then they go up to my head and cause a lot of pain and pressure. And it's not easy to live like this. I stay at home a lot of times. I have a church now that I go to and I volunteer over there. And I'm going to be ministering to children at the church soon. And I minister to people in the street. and. I always tell everybody about Jesus. I live my life for God. I don't watch worldly things. I am not friends with worldly people. Um, everything I do is about Jesus Christ. Everything I watch, everything, I just it's all about Jesus for me because of what God brought me out of and how real I know that this warfare is and um yeah I I feel you know for a while the demons went away they went away and I felt really good and I was filled with joy and, and I and then they started coming back and I thought that if I didn't have fear, you know, it seemed to work and they left me alone. But for some reason, but they're coming back and I, I can't stop them. And it's not as strong as it was a year ago. But um, they get in my head. They go up into my head and it causes these crazy, crazy strong supernatural feelings supernatural physical sensations and pressure in my head and it's horrible and I try to tell people about what I'm going through but people, people don't understand they look at me and they see my smile and my love for God but they don't know what's going through in my body you know nobody can feel what I feel and you can't feel what's going on inside of another person's body God gives me joy through it all you know but um Sometimes these thoughts come into my head like, God doesn't love you. If God loved you, why would he let you go through that? These thoughts come in my head like, if God loved you, God wouldn't let you go through this. God wouldn't stop it, you know? But I know he does. I know he loves me. And I know that's just the devil. I don't understand why God allows this. I cry out to him all the time, begging him to protect me from the demons, begging him to, to deliver me. I pray to him, I need to read my Bible more, it's been a, a battle, you know, I, I start reading the Bible, I get distracted, but I'm, I'm getting better with that. I mean, I'm trying to make sure I read the Bible for two hours a day. I praise, I play worship music, and the demons start causing a lot of sensation and pressure when I do these things. 
and I do fasts and I don't say that to look good I'm just trying to let you know like I'm doing this spiritual warfare the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the pulling down of strongholds I don't know. I don't know. I guess I have a curse on me or I don't know. I'm not in any willful sin. I know that there's still sin in me, you know, because we can have thoughts that are impure and that sin. And, you know, I'm always trying to cast that. I'm always casting that stuff down. I don't know. You know, there's sin. God is always working on us, sanctifying us and setting us apart and renewing our mind and developing us but I don't have any willful sin you know I don't like something that I know is a sin I'm not gonna go and do it <laughs> and it's um I don't know why I'm getting attacked it's really hard it's so hard to go through this I get deliverance sometimes from doing praise and worship and reading the scriptures and I fast and I feel better but then they come back again I can't wait till Jesus comes back I beg for God, I honestly beg for God to just take me home to let me die you know because it's really hard to go through this but, you know, and I think of the story of Job, and Job, God let the devil afflict him. And Job loved God. He loved God. And there it is. That's my anchor, is the story of Job. God allowed Job to be afflicted, and Job loved God. And by God, got him through it. And, and healed him. And returned everything to him later, you know. I'm not going to give up. You know, Jesus keeps me going. Greater he who is in me than he who is in this world. But, um, maybe this video will... I don't know the purpose of this video. I just... I just needed someone to talk to you. Maybe I'll get some comments that are uplifting. I've tried to tell people that I know about what I'm going through. They don't understand, though. They, you know, like, you love Jesus, you serve God. But they must be thinking, how could this be happening? And most people don't get attacked, like, by spirits. I, o I opened a lot of doors to Satan one before I knew God. Did some stupid, stupid stuff. And, um, I, I don't know, I, re I played, prayed a lot of repentance prayers. I've repented for every thought that I, everything that I've ever done that I know of. I don't know why this is happening, but, um, I don't know. If you guys could pray for me, that'd be great. Maybe this story somebody can relate. I don't know. Pray for me, you guys. God bless you. Bye.